All right, so moving on now to the future. This past November, when most of us were getting ready for Thanksgiving, the guy who grew up in Corvallis was in California, preparing to make a piece of aviation history. Robert Rose is his name. He's a co-founder of a company called Reliable Robotics. And November 21st, his company flew a big plane over Hollister, California, south of San Jose, with no pilot on board. The flight took place at daybreak. Reliable Robotics had outfitted a Cessna 208 Caravan with its autonomous flying system. Any questions, comments, or go-backs? 50 miles away in Mountain View, California, Dana Tomale, an engineer and pilot, prepared to fly the plane. It was something the company had worked toward for a long time. You've probably seen planes like this in the skies around Portland. They can carry 12 people and about 3,000 pounds and are often used by companies like FedEx to deliver packages. It's a moment Dana, the pilot, will remember for a long time. It was exciting. Thankfully, I had a lot of training beforehand to prepare for the moment. Um, but, you know, the second that the pilot stepped out, all that training kicked in and it went by super fast, but it was, it was truly an awesome moment. She directed the plane to the end of the runway using her computer, and then it took off. The view from inside the cockpit? Stunning. No one on board is at the controls. In fact, no one's on board at all. I had to ask the CEO, Robert Rose, about that. Oh, yeah. This was a big moment. Um, we had done this before back in 2019 on a Cessna 172, so we had some idea what to expect. Um, but that aircraft is about a third or to a quarter of the size of the Cessna Caravan. Um, it's, it's a big step in terms of the organizational capability and the safety analysis that we needed to perform with the system. Um, it was a really big day for us. The FAA also got much more involved given the size of the aircraft and, and also the population has increased at Hollister Airport where we performed this test flight. Uh, compared to where it was four, four and a half years ago. Rose grew up in the Corvallis area, and he's no stranger to technology. He worked as the director of flight software at SpaceX and led a team at Tesla that developed novel computer vision and a human-machine interface and control technology. So, yeah, he knows about technology, which is a good thing because flying a plane like this from a different location takes a ton of it. Oh, yeah. So... If you're not going to have a pilot in the plane, um, well, step one, you need a plane that's actually capable of managing itself through all phases of flight. Navigation is a big challenge today in aircraft. Uh, today, the pilot is expected to be cross-checking instruments with one another. You need to make sure the GPS is consistent with your airspeed indication, your ADAHARs, AHARs, and, and other, other navigation instruments that you have inside the aircraft. We don't have that luxury if we don't have the pilot inside the plane. So we need to add additional levels of redundancy and software to cross check all of those instruments to make sure that they're, they can be trusted. That's complicated. Automatically landing an aircraft at an airport that does not have infrastructure to enable automated landing is another big challenge. I don't know about Portland. I should have looked this up before this interview, but very few airports in the United States actually have instrument landing system that's capable of fully automated landing all the way down to the ground. So he said Reliable Robotics created a way that the plane can land without the airport having that system. After a 12-minute flight, the plane was down. <laughs> Crew members, including Dana, celebrated. Definitely a sense of accomplishment. The second that the aircraft stopped and we cut the engine off remotely, um, it was myself, the mission commander, in the room, and it was just a sense of, of pride and accomplishment. Uh, you can kind of see it in the video. We, we started celebrating a little bit, but it really was months of hard work uh, to get this done. So it was a sense of like just feeling super proud for everyone on the team. It was awesome. For Robert, the CEO, it's just another step forward to a day when remote pilots will fly all sorts of planes and jets, just not from inside the aircraft. I think it's going to take many years before this technology is first certified by the FAA. I mean, we've, we've been working on this in a formal capacity, getting it certified with the FAA for over four years. I think we still have many years to go. It's hard to predict exactly when, because when you're doing when you're developing systems to this level of reliability and you're performing safety analysis to this level of detail, um, it's hard to predict what you will encounter. And the work is done when it's done. Uh, when you have thoroughly analyzed everything, 
then you are allowed to put it into an aircraft and go fly it. Um, I would hope that we can see these sorts of systems be put into regular routine use by the end of the decade. Um, but it's still, it's hard to predict when it's going to occur. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't sound like too long, seven years. I mean, I guess if you're there every day in the trenches, it's forever, but for the rest of us, like, wow, uh, it's pretty exciting to see. I feel like it's very important work. Um, I believe autonomous aviation is, is going to change the world. Um, uh, the jet age shrunk the world and much like the jet age, I think autonomous aircraft are going to enable factor 10, factor 100 more aircraft to go into the sky. And that's going to have implications on how people move and how we move goods around the planet that I think is going to bring a lot more peace and prosperity to planet Earth. How about that? I don't know about you, but that's pretty mind blowing for me. So what do you think? Is it the future? Do you believe assurances that it's going to be safe? You can email us. The e email address is the story at KGW.com or call and leave a voicemail. The number is 503-226-5090. I look forward to hearing from you.